Once you have your startup documents set and you're ready to begin doing anything in ZBrush, you'll notice that if you have your mouse or pen tablet and you click and drag, you get this strange brush here that looks like it's made up of some kind of 3D square object that I'm just dragging across the screen. I'm going to make my uh, color a little lighter here so you can see what's going on. And this is one of the most troubling aspects of ZBrush to most people is that when you start up you're in this um, two and a half D mode that ZBrush has. And it's there because it was the first part of uh, the first, I guess, uh, objective of the program was to, to enhance uh, 2D illustrations. So this 2.5D mode gives you the effect of uh, shadow and light, like a 3D object, but it's basically uh, static. You can't rotate it. it. has its uses, as you'll see later on down the line, but for now, we're not going to use this at all. And this is very frustrating for people because they start dragging around and clicking everywhere and nothing's happening, and they go and click on something else, like this sphere, and they say, okay, now that's a 3D object, but then they click and they drag again, and this starts to happen, you just start building up this uh, multiple spheres just dropped onto the canvas, one on top of the other, and you can't really do anything here. If this were to happen to you, which it will, just hit Control N, as in Nancy, to clear the canvas. And once again, if I drag and release and drag, I'll get a bunch of spheres. Control N as in Nancy, clears the canvas. So let's say we want to begin making any kind of sculpture. We will click and drag. Once we release that, we know that if we click and drag again, we'll just make multiple spheres on top of each other. But if you notice here, there's this edit mode, which the uh, hotkey is T. And if I hover over it, you'll see that it says edit object T. Edit mode allows you to go into 3D mode. So now, if I hit Shift F to reveal the wireframe, this will help you see that this is an actual 3D object that I'm rotating. You can see the poles here. <clears throat> and so now I've actually achieved moving from 2.5D to 3D mode using this Edit T mode. So let's hit T again and see what happens. If I hit T and drag, I go right back into the 2.5D mode where I'm just dragging and dropping these. These are called dead pixels. So I'm just dragging and dropping these dead pixels. Once they're dropped, I can't do anything with it. I can't rotate, can't go back. But what you can do is you can drag the last one and go into T and rotate. You see this last one becomes live. But I still can't do anything with these others, so I might, at this point, want to hit Control N to clear the canvas. And here is our 3D object. So if I want to frame this 3D object, I'll hit F. So F frames this object. It's a nice way to lock right back into full frame use of this uh, 3D object. If you get lost, if I'm holding Alt and click and dragging, I can pan. And if I release Alt, and continue to drag. I will zoom and of course and clicking anywhere outside the object with well I'm currently using the mouse with left clicking you can rotate but on the pen I will be just clicking and dragging. I'll just move to the tablet right now. So here I'm clicking and dragging the same way and alt clicking and dragging will pan and if I release alt while I'm panning Continuing to drag, I will be zooming. So this is what you want to get used to, rotating to drag, uh, dragging to rotate, alt and panning, and then releasing alt to zoom right there. So it feels strange at first, but you'll pick it up really quick. F to frame, and then shift will lock to a view. So if I'm rotating towards any point, and then I hold shift, it will lock to that camera view. So in this case, shift locks to the top, shift locks to the front, and shift locks to the side. It's hard for you guys to understand that because the sphere looks the same except for the poles. But if you use any other object, 
let's go over to something like this spiral 3D. So if I rotate this and shift, it'll lock to that view, which is the left, back, right, and top. So it's a great way to quickly access camera views holding shift. And I'm purposely slamming on the key so you can see how I am clicking it after I'm dragging. And let's say we alt and zoomed in and we lost our place, we can hit F and quickly return right back to that framed view of the object. Okay, so that's it for this short video and uh, next one we'll cover symmetry and making this object sculptable.